welcome back to research learning algorithms and today in this video we're going to do uh, tell you the steps in conducting a literature review so regardless of the type of study and there are several studies or several steps rather that are useful in conducting a literature review so by the way what is a literature review a literature review means locating and summarizing the studies about the topic and often this of research studies so since you're conducting a research study in that case but they may also include conceptual articles or opinion pieces that provide frameworks for thinking about topics and there is no single way to conduct a literature review but many scholars proceed in a systematic fashion to capture, evaluate, and summarize the literature. So here are the steps that I would like to recommend. The first one, you have to begin by identifying keywords which is useful in locating materials in an academic library at the college or university and these keywords may emerge in identifying a topic or may result from preliminary reading. The second one, with those keywords in mind, you have to go to the library or you can actually use your laptop and begin searching for the catalog for holdings. So what are you going to search for? Well, just look at journals and books related to your readings and most major libraries have computerized databases and I suggest you focus initially on those journals and books related to the topics so you may also begin to search the computerized databases that are typically reviewed by social science researchers such as the ERIC or the Educational Resources Information Center the EBSCO the Site Info you may also have the social file, the social science citation index, and which I actually have a list of publication websites in my hand right now. And then the Google Scholar, the ProQuest, and other. So there are so many. You can have as resources or computerized databases. The third step so initially, you try to locate about 50 reports of research articles or books related to research on your topic and you have to set a priority on the search for journal articles and books because they are well sometimes difficult but it can be easy as long as you got the right keywords that you would like to locate on the time and determine whether these articles and books exist in your academic library or whether you need to send for them by in the library loan or probably purchase them through a bookstore online and sometimes I also use the research guide and the academia but you just have to verify each of those articles that you're going to use now the fourth one is that you have to scheme an initial group of articles or chapters and duplicate those that are central to your topic so throughout this process you need to simply try to obtain a sense to graph of the article or chapter will make a useful contribution to understanding of the literature so the fifth step as you identify useful literature now it's time to begin designing your literature map now what is this literature map all about? Well, from the term itself, it's a map for your literature. So, a literature map is a visual picture of figure of groupings of the literature on the topic that illustrates how your particular study will contribute to the literature, positioning your study within their larger body of research. On my next video, I can actually show you a, a sample of a liter literature map and the structure of how you're going to do your literature, your review of the literature, the structure, because we are now in the steps. So, on the next video, 
can be on the structure of a literature map of a literature review and the sample a sample of a literature map all right so let's proceed so the next step for conducting your literature review is that as you put together the literature map you also begin to draft summaries of the most relevant articles so these summaries are combined into the final literature review that you write for your proposal or research study and include precise references to the literature using an appropriate style guide such as the publication manual of the American Psychological Association uh, for me, or actually in our university, we choose the APA, American Psychological Association 6th edition so we can have another video for that to give you, I will give you some polls as to how you're going to reference each of your offer and so that you have a complete reference to use at the end of your proposal or study and it's better that from time to time you trace or complete your references or the offers with all the details so that you won't you know take time later on to look for those um, literature soft copies so you have to just write the, the references completely after you've taken of the ideas of course with proper citation all right so the last step is that after summarizing the literature you have to assemble the literature review structure it thematically that means by theme according to your topic or your title and organize it by the most important concepts and you have to end the literature review with a summary of the major themes and can suggest how your particular study can further add to the literature and address a gap in and address a gap for the themes. So it is at this point as well that you could actually advance a critique of the past literature and point out deficiencies in it and issues in its methods. So that's what you're going to do and or those are the steps in how you conduct a literature review. Again, the next video will focus on how you're going to structure your literature review and together with your literature map. So that's it. Thanks for watching.